Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Jemmy and today I will be showing you how I got a, a gold medal in the STEM Olympiad for coding category, for the coding category. And I'll be showing you the steps I took, what tips I'm going to give you and some special notes that you might need later on if you want to compete in this co uh, competition. As you can see, this is my certificate that I got. This is my full name and I got third place gold uh, in the coding category just to prove that I got it. All right. Uh, so if we were to go to the, the code website, which is called stemolympia.org, you would need an account for this, by the way. You can see that I got 24 out of 100 uh, points, which is quite less. I'll explain to you why this amount of points actually got me a third place award in the gold medal. Um, so I'll, I'll show you how I did that. As you can see, I got third place and uh, out of 65 people, I'll show you how I did that. What you want to do is you want to go to my exams. If you don't have it yet, then go to like uh, Codementum and there's going to be open Codementum right here. Click on that. This is very important for you, by the way, because um, this program right here is to simulate what the test will actually be like. And they have a bunch of different topics you can choose from. And the first step I took is I went to Codementum and I practiced a lot of uh, these things from the beginning. Just from one, how to get two stars. Right, but I practiced from one you how it looks like all right so this is what it kind of looks like you have some code here and of course i'm going to be coding with python where blocks to be useful if you don't know how to code with python yet but let's do it with python first so there's a panda here which is your main character and it needs to walk one two three four steps to get to this capital right here and there's gonna be two blocks that you can choose from you can click on the blocks to make them write python code which is really useful if you're a slow typer like so uh, or you could just go like board four and then so just one two three four the way um of course i'm sure that many of you know how to do this already and don't need to be explaining it so i'm just going to go briefly over it uh the way you count these little steps here is what i have to do is like a little jump from my with my mouse cursor just go one one two three four like that and it goes really quickly instead of me like finding something to count on sometimes it goes five like it's really long you can't really count it that quickly so i feel like if you just do one two three four it's really quick so yeah as you can see just like that and you'll get three stars like so and then you can move on to the next one which prog progressively gets harder and harder um or it depends on what you learned before but it does it should get harder and you just do this over and over and over again or every single day until the competition starts basically uh i bet that with practice you can actually do it so i went until 213 see if you can beat my score because with the syntaxes that these things offer you you can see the later one gets a little bit more confusing or it should sometimes it might have like uh yeah as you can see it gets starting to get a little bit more confusing we have to set uh sets then we have to put a for loop and then do a bunch of little syntax things that even right now i don't remember since this was like uh three months ago so this one you have to open the pods go around and you have to have uh you have to write your code within like a certain amount of lines to get the maximum three stars the reason you should focus on stars in the competition is because uh in the competition every level there's gonna be 30 levels and each level will have three stars so the maximum you can get is 90 stars and uh the reason i passed with only 24 stars is because of a very small glitch in the system I got third place, but I only got 24 out of 100 points. Wait, why is there 100 points? I don't know, but uh, there's only 30 levels, I'm pretty sure. And what happens was I did eight levels completely. So as you know, eight times three is 24. And the reason I only did eight levels because I actually finished this eight levels within like five to seven minutes, which is relatively quick. It's less than a minute for each level. And I got three stars for each one. However, once I got to level nine, that's where the problem started. Since I'm using Opera, as you can see right here, I'm still using it. Opera GX, which is a browser I main right now. Uh, there's a certain glitch in like the niche of the browser that makes it so that uh, in level nine, some browsers can't pass that level. And so uh, I couldn't continue anymore. I tried for the rest of the time, like 44, 40, 54 minutes, just tried to edit and edit and edit my code again and again, but it kept coming up the same error. like. Uh, your code is missing a syntax let's try again and it really annoyed me however uh, after the exam was done i was like there's no way i'm going to get this at all however i did actually got it uh, because 
I didn't actually get it because everybody in Canada bug. It's just not. It's not just me, and I'm not just like forgetting a syntax. I actually ran into a bug that completely stopped my progress. Though so they gave actually six placement points for this. There's first, second, third for the real competition where people use Google Chrome, which doesn't have this error. Google Chrome can run past this uh, past this glitch like very well, and it doesn't get stuck on level nine. However, people who are using different browsers in Google Chrome will also have its different one to uh, first, second, third place. It can be first, second, third place for people who finish the entire, uh, for people who use Google Chrome, and first, third, second place for people who use browsers that couldn't go past level nine. As you can see, I got the third place for people who, who couldn't pass level nine because I uh, because I finished eight levels the fastest, uh, the third fastest. And if I were to, if I knew this, I would have, um, I could have actually gotten the higher placement. I'm pretty sure a lot of people could have too if they realized that it only mattered on the first eight levels because uh, level one or two, I'm not, I don't remember completely. I tried to shorten my code to the, like the shortest amount possible, where it's like only like five to four lines instead of being six. Uh, using a little uh, tip, I'm gonna show you, and that's why that's what made me lose some time and got get third place. However, I'm satisfied with third place since you know that's almost out. So yeah, that's how I did it. So if you're gonna use it. I recommend using Google Chrome in order to pass the pass the exams. Or if you're sneaky like me, what I would do is I would probably use a different browser. Then I'd try every try to do everything the fastest. And if I were to get stuck on something, it would guarantee me some points. However, if I were to finish it, it also would guarantee me points. So I recommend you use a different browser if you want a little like a sneak way to maybe like snatch a medal. Or if you want to do the legit way, you could go Google Chrome. It's boring, so might as well use a different browser. Not sponsored, by the way. Or they could sponsor if they want. Uh, okay. Now let's move on to, uh, yes, the tips. All right. So let's go back to code Mentum right here. Yeah, so you can see it's a bit too easy. But I could show you the trick right here. As you can see, this is four lines of text, and if I were to press play, the monkey would open. Move forward three steps, open the capsule, and then they would check inside the capsule first. If it's green, it will go forward one step and collect it. Uh, however, if the capsule, so basically to explain this, there's gonna be a red and green capsule, and there's a red capsule. Oh, wait, if it's a bomb, sorry, you don't wanna collect it. Or um, if it's a green, but if it's a green capsule, you'd want to move forward one thing, one step and collect it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. However, you can see that it uses four lines of text, right? But we can actually shorten this down to three, like so. Before we shorten it down to three, I want to show you how what would happen if there was five lines of text. So if I would wanted the monkey to turn back, so turn back like so, after it's done again collecting this, I'd only get two stars. Now the third one, right? However, if I wanted to get three stars while it's still turning back, I can use a simple trick. Instead of putting the four below here, which counts as another line, I can simply delete this like so and put the forward on the same line as the if. This way, I now have four lines of code and I get one extra line for free. And I could use a lot, do a lot of other things with this line. For example, if the code, if the code requires something else to do, like something um, more complicated, like turn around and click another capsule with an amount of certain amount of lines, I can get a free line and use that as like a, like a cheat code basically to get like, make my code more simpler and more fast to write, less complicated as well. If we were to try to do that again, like it, turn around, still four lines, and should get three stars. As you can see, like so. So as you can see, this is a simple trick that you could do. You can do this while loops. So for example, while, wait, not while, sorry. Uh, was it? For I in range, in range. Right, let me try for I in range five. All right, you have to put a five rows, it goes forever. Okay, it didn't turn back, but as you can see, I can use a four iron range now with the turn back and get, still get three stars. So this is a very good way for us to um, use to utilize our code to the fullest potential and still get the amount of three stars. So it's like a little tip I can give you. But yeah, those are the three things I'm going to be telling you today. It's quite simple and quite easy to follow along. First thing is practice momentum. Second thing is use a different browser in Google Chrome. 
just in case you can snatch an award. And thirdly is to use this tip where you can actually shorten your code down to one line instead of two lines. And you can, if you want, you can actually add more code like at the back. If you forward again, like so, or turn back like that, it'll actually just be in three lines now. So I could just do that in three lines, watch. As you can see, I turn back and move forward within one line, which is crazy. Like I have now, I run down three lines of code. You can put a comma tag or something in the back. So those are the, those are the tips I'm going to give you in order to get a gold medal. Good luck with your competition. And I hope that this video will help you in the future. Thank you so much. Bye.